Ask any film student you may know, and they probably can't say they've made a movie come to life. But this is no ordinary group of kids. 7 News reporter Aliyah Keller joins us live in the studio with a behind the scenes look of a movie in the making. Aliyah. Catherine, as most movies go, it all starts with an idea in the mind of a filmmaker, but this particular movie doesn't have your ordinary cast and crew, and it's all led by local filmmaker Sean Holmes. It's a success story of one local filmmaker. Sean Holmes has been in the movie making scene since he was 13, but his career took an unexpected turn when his work caught the attention of a big time producer. Robert Tinnell's a veteran West Virginia filmmaker. Tinnell's worked for a lot of big name directors, but now is running his own filmmaking program at the Douglas Education Center. Tinnell was looking for someone to work with his students, and Sean Holmes came to mind. He called me in the middle of October and just said, hey, I know you're trying to make this movie. Uh, what if the school funds it and brings you in as the artist in residence and uh, you can teach these kids a little something about directing? And I just jumped all over it. And that very next day, his idea quickly became a movie in the making. Yeah, it just uh, it came together like super fast. His movie's called How to Tie a Tie. It's a coming of age story of a teen abandoned by his father who learns how to become a man. The movie is coming together in no time, with the seniors running the whole show, each contributing in their own way. One's a producer, another works on lighting and camera work. Holmes also has an editor and a cinematographer, and the rest of the class are being supervised by the seniors in a number of roles. It's, it's just really great to give these kids a real-world on-set experience with um, professional director, producer, actors. I went to a very prestigious film school, and I didn't get an experience like this when I was in school. Holmes says that they have started casting, and there is even a cameo role in it for someone famous. They've also secured a house and diner that have been in movies before. A lot of work, but Holmes can't wait for everyone to see the turnout. We're getting a lot of help from a lot of uh, community organizations and um, our local partners and sponsors, so uh, we really hope everyone comes out and um, sees, sees what their community was able to do. Now, filming begins shooting December 13th with a big red carpet premiere in Wheeling on January 29th. Holmes says they'll announce the location of the premiere shortly, so stay with 7 News for that announcement. Live in the 7 News studio, Aliyah Keller working for you. Aliyah, thanks.